Hey, it is Machine with Mechanical Poetry. I'm going to read you a poem. It is titled Clown. I found out today a clown personification I portray not to be taken seriously. Their laughter spits quite obviously. What words to use when in dismay? Future frustrations for another day. I wrote this poem November 12, 2010. I don't remember if it had anything to, to do with the holidays coming up since it was November. I would imagine it was because I do remember writing this poem after a Facebook feud or a Facebook fight. I'm not on Facebook. I've canceled my, my account like three different times. My sister wants me to go back so she can watch my mechanical poetry videos easier for her when in my opinion it's not that hard to just travel on over to YouTube type in mechanical poetry and there it is but it's easier for her because she checks Facebook more often yada 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 but I just really don't want to make another Facebook account I'll end up uh, getting in another Facebook fight the, the most recent one was uh, maybe I don't know four months after I started the Mechanical Poetry YouTube channel and I wanted to see if that would help my channel grow. I ended up being stupid and commenting on a picture that had my daughter next to a Christmas tree. So it was basically my fault. I opened my tongue. I apologize. I was sincere. Uh, I let my anger slip really easy. Um, I'm trying to work on that. Trying to work on controlling my temper, my anger, frustrations, jealousy, envy, hatred even. I don't want to say that because I don't want to be the person that hates. But I think if I really deciphered it, it would be more envy or jealousy than it would be hate. Because I'm a loving, compassionate person, I, I think anyways. I'm selfish. I'm probably more selfish than I am compassionate and loving, maybe. Or that's just me putting myself down because that's what I do. Anyways, these thoughts pretty much went off track. Uh, this poem is basically about me. I feel like... I'm a clown. And this was back in 2010 when it was basically just about the pagan holidays that I don't celebrate and practically everybody else does. And it just, it gets lonely. It gets lonely that you're the only one that doesn't do that, you know? And then now it's even, it it's like, it's huge. It's immense compared to what it was before. Now I believe all that still, the pagan holidays and all that, and on top of it, I believe the world is not what they tell us. I believe they've been lying to us for a really long time and it just recently got worse in the last, what, 60, 70 years with NASA and the fake, the fake moon landing. So the deception is so far it's actually to the point of delusion where people like me that have broken free from that illusion that fantasy world of oh we live on a ball spinning at a thousand miles per hour also spinning around this also around spinning around that also spinning around this in an infinite void of nothingness created by the big bang i don't believe in any of that bullshit anymore so all that sounds crazy to me, but since we are in the very, very lower percentile, we are looked at as clowns, as idiots, as crazy nut jobs, tinfoil wearing hat people. So that's fun. And yeah. So that was back in 2010. It's 2017. And I think it was um, 2015 when I started looking into the flat earth and the fake moon landing, the fake moon landing is where I started. <clears throat> I, I covered that in a 
<clears throat> my first flat earth poem that's pretty much where it all started my sister talked to me about the whole nephilim nephilim whatever it however it's pronounced angels breeding with humans creating um half breed human slash demon or angel whatever which are posing as aliens which goes in the whole circle of there's a un there's a universe there's other planets we are coming from a different planet yet we're really demons trying to deceive you in believing that there's no god blah 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 it's all tied together the pagan holidays a yearly thing birthdays um God's people didn't celebrate birthdays. From what I read, I may be wrong because what I read a long time ago is like historically um, the Israelites and the Hebrew people, they didn't celebrate their birthday. It was like a pagan thing. Uh, don't mark my words on that. You know, I could be wrong. I don't know for sure. But I, a long time ago, I did read that, that it was pagans. In Jeremiah 10, it like describes how pagans the gentiles were completely obsessed with the sky with the stars with the moon with the sun that they're totally just like in awe of that and in the beginning of the bible in creation it says god set the set the stars the sun and the moon in the sky and i mean it doesn't in the bible it doesn't go into a huge amount of great detail like saying to people that these things in the sky are so important it just kind of explains yeah the sun is the light the moon is for the dark and it's very vague you know very it doesn't shine a huge spotlight on the heavens the stars the sun and the moon Wow, these thoughts are really, really long. I didn't think I was going to talk this long, but you know, I think I'm actually I'm going to keep this take because usually with the thoughts, I, you know, just wing it, say whatever is on my mind. I don't script it because that takes a lot longer to do, to do all these pictures, do all this, do all that, do everything nice and fancy. And then I kind of just decided to skimp on the thoughts section where I wrote it down. Plus, I did try that, and it, I couldn't read it like it was natural. I Maybe some of them, they seem more natural than others, but I sounded like I was scripted, and the thoughts section to me just kind of feels like it should be free thought. But, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know. My mom is my favorite fan, and... She's usually the one that comments. She probably is the one that listens through the thoughts. My sisters, I don't think they watch my YouTube channel. I'm, I know my dad doesn't. He doesn't go. He doesn't take his time to actually check my channel. I don't think my sisters do. I don't think my wife does. Um, my daughters don't. One's four, so yeah. But the other one's seven. She knows how to do that type of stuff. And I don't think she does. Um, yeah. I'm pretty much trying to rely on people out there that I don't know. In this huge world of a whole bunch of people. Just throwing my thoughts. Throwing my beliefs out there. In hopes that people would be like. Hey what's up dude. I believe the same thing. We should talk. I'll leave a comment in the box. And I'll be like. Yeah, I like it when there's a comment down there because then I can reply to it and then some it means that somebody's talking to me. I know it's digital. I know I can't meet this person. But, you know, it it's nice to talk to people that believe what you believe. Anyways, yeah, I'm definitely done. So I hope you enjoyed that poem. If you did, please return. I will read some more mechanical poetry.